Good morning, everybody. It's your boy Steve Penn checking in on my daily grind. I'm on my way to work as usual. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm an artist. I'm a hip hop artist, but I also I work. You know, um, not for long, but temporarily, I'm working. Um, don't be afraid to share that you have a job as an artist. You know what I mean? You gotta fund your dream. You gotta eat. You gotta keep a roof over your head. And if you have children like I do, then, you know, it's a must that you work. Um, I've been doing a lot of research and studying about jobs in general. Nine to five, so people who wanna quit their nine to five, but they can't quit their nine to five because, you know, their lifestyle depend on it. Well, I'm kinda like one of them. You know, I have a decent job, but it's not really what I, I want to do. And so I'm, I'm taking steps and making preparations to put myself in a even better uh, financial situation. You know, um, nine to fives, I look at as just stepping stones. You know, there's a difference between a career and a nine to five. A nine to five is something you do to get to a next level in your life financially until you uh, get to where you're trying to go and a career is something that you already prepared for and now you're actually doing it right and so during the pandemic well before the pandemic um, I was in law you know I was a paralegal and still focusing on my, my music career um, but I was practicing law and that was before I had my kids most of the jobs that offer law jobs or paralegal jobs, there's a lot of them in Atlanta, but I live in Atlanta, but I live on the outskirts of Atlanta. And I have three minor children that depend on me to get them to school and pick them up from school. So me traveling to Atlanta every day just is not going to work. And so right now I'm practicing on, I'm working on uh, finding some things remote so that I could travel, see my parents, you know, uh, concentrate a little bit more on my music. And um, so I am re-educating myself. Um, and even with the whole, you know, career thing, um, you know, as I started to re-educate myself to uh, pursue a different career, I started thinking about actually you know, tech, uh, computer tech. And I said, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be nice if I knew how to code and I can use this knowledge toward my music because um, that's where the music industry, the music business is going, toward coding. And so I've been taking courses on coding and digital e-commerce marketing just to keep my brain fresh on something new and new ideas. Because I've already decided, as you heard on my last video, I already decided to take my music off of uh, uh, all these streaming platforms. Well, really not take my music off of it, off of them, but, you know, not uploading no more. Because it's just full of shit, basically. You got to deal with a bunch of bots. You got people selling streams. You don't know if they're real curators. They're not paying enough. It's just it's just full of shit right now. And, I, and, it, and it makes me wonder, you know, a lot of these artists that passed away recently, well, uh, you know, except Nipsey, because I've been who Nipsey was, but a lot of these young artists that passed away, I never even knew who they were until they passed away. And I'm like, man, you know, now I'm doing a, the backstory on them. And I'm finding out they had a whole bunch of streams and this and that and the third. And I'm like, damn, well, why haven't I ever heard of them? You know what I think? These guys that I never heard of, because it's a lot of them that passed away. PNB Rock, I never heard of PNB Rock. Now, I'm not saying just because I've never heard of them, that don't mean they was the official, official tissue type of artist, you know what I'm saying? But... A lot of artists passed away I've never heard of. And I think, you know, I'm not the only one that feel that way. I think a lot of it is due 
to jacked up streams from bots. When you when they when these artists pass away, you look at they, you know, they track record. They got millions and millions of streams, but there's a lot of bots going on in this industry, and I'm and I'm starting to feel like is this why I'm not hearing of these artists that pass away? They make a little bit of you know they make a, they make some make a little bit of cash, and it, and it got jacked up streams. Is this why I, I don't hear them on the radio or whatever? I don't know. So I said to myself, it'd be nice if I can build an app. Or artists can start building apps. Or somebody in the industry, some artist, build a music app other than these off-brand record labels. You know, that are seem seemingly to be controlled by bots. That's what's on my mind this morning as I travel on my way to work. Um... This is where I think of a lot of lyrics on my way to work because my, my brain is waking up and I'm moving. Um, this is where I come up with a lot of ideas. And I just want to share you guys, share with you guys my thoughts for this morning. But yeah, what do y'all think about artists working 9 to 5? Donkey Diamond did a, a show with a kid. I forgot his name. I think his name is Danero. Dope, dope kid out of Oklahoma, man. And, um, I said, wow, man, this is something that, you know, I'm living and this is something that, you know, I'm not the only artist that, that have a regular job <laughs> that works, man. So, um, I think that was a dope, dope show. Big shout out to Doggy Diamond for giving art a spotlight. So with that being said, man, I'm pulling up to work. I'm here ready to bust my grind. I got my coffee. I'm going to chop it up with y'all later, man. It's your boy Steve Penn once again in the AM. <laughs> I'm out, man. Peace. Since I love what I do, I gotta do what I love. I got the power choice. They don't know what I'm capable of. See, I got all I need to make it right. Never live a plan B life. I know where I wanna be and who I'm gonna be. Everything I need is right here. It's just up to me. See, I got all I need to make it right. Never live a plan B life. Never.